Welcome everyone back to another video. Today we are doing some maintenance here on the XRS. Now, a few months ago, back in March, I installed the Marasso oil pan to replace the stock non-baffled oil pan on this car. And ever since then, uh, around summertime, I noticed there was a little bit of a leak coming out from it. It wasn't gushing out oil or anything. It was a few drips here and there, but it was enough to be able to notice it. But since it wasn't that bad of a leak, I decided to wait until the oil change was due and then at that time I would go under and check it out. Well, it is now time for an oil change on this car. So I'm gonna go under there, drain the old oil and see where it's leaking from. I'm really hoping that it's just a leak from a drain plug or anything. Funny enough, I've actually got another one of these Marasa oil pans here for the blue Corolla. You'll see why in the next video. But basically, I'm hoping it's either going to be a leak from the drain plug here or from either of these two bungs. That would be the ideal situation because then all I would need to do is just take uh, these plugs out. I mean, obviously the drain plug is coming out either way. Uh, or take either of these two uh, plugs out, put some thread sealer on there and then put it back and that would solve the problem. If that's not the problem, then the only other place it can be leaking from is where it meets the engine here. So if that's the case and it's leaking from somewhere along here, then I'm going to remove the oil pan and reseal it, put it back together uh, just like how I first installed it. So fingers crossed, this is going to be a really easy fix. Hopefully, I'd rather not take the oil pan off because um, it's just more work that I'd rather not do. <laughs> but if that's the problem, it's not gonna be a difficult fix or anything, shouldn't take too long. And uh, with that being said, let's get it up in the air, drain the old oil out and see what we're working with. I should have seen this coming. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. Guys, I have figured out where the oil leak is coming from. Now it's quite difficult for you to see under here, but hopefully you can see well enough. There's some oil hanging around. So I was partially right. This bung here is a little bit wet. Probably need some thread seal on there. And I'll probably do, and I'll probably do this one as well. But through the darkness, it obviously goes up. So I figured, right, it is the gasket. Uh, my gasket maker here is leaking a bit, but it turns out it goes higher than that. So, ladies and gentlemen, the cause of my oil leak is not 100% the drain plug or either of these two bungs here. It is not where the oil pan mates with the engine block. It is the infamous timing chain cover gasket. It's leaking. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. I should have seen it coming. A few months ago, it was it was okay, and now it's developed a leak. So, the good news is that I don't have to take the oil pan off, uh, and I can just do this oil change normally. The bad news, I can't fix this leak right now. <laughs> I would have preferred if the oil pan was leaking, but unfortunately, it is not. It's the timing chain cover gasket, which is a much, much bigger job than an oil pan. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about the timing chain cover gasket, and now it, it, it makes sense. It is a problem that the 2ZZ has always had, um, and I should have seen it coming. <sighs> okay, well, we're just gonna do this oil change normally. There's no way I can fix the timing chain cover gasket in this video, I don't have one, I don't have the knowledge, I have to research the best way of doing it. Number two, I need the time. So pretty, this this is probably a project I have to push off until uh, probably in November when I've got Thanksgiving break, uh, cause I, I don't have the time to take on this project right now. And I need the parts to get it done as well. So, <laughs> I should have known that my time was here. As I am laughing through the pain. <laughs> I thought I was special. I got a 2ZZ that didn't have a leaking timing chain cover gasket. And now it's come to get me. 
to be fair, this car has almost 170,000 on it now. In the past year I've owned this car, uh, I've put 10,000 miles on it. Somewhere in that 10,000 miles, the timing chain cover gasket went. Well, I still have to do the oil change on this car, so let's do it. The oil is under the car draining out. I'll give it uh, a while to let all the old oil come out and then we'll take the old filter out and then we'll put in all the new stuff. So let me show you what I've got here. So this is my new fluids shelf. I think it's pretty cool. All the stuff down there is all the old oil that I need to get rid of plus a couple bottles of old coolant that also need to go. Then up here we have some new slash unused stuff. So we have some unused OW20. This is what's going into the XRS now and will eventually end up on the floor when it leaks out. I've never tried Royal Purple before, uh, so I'm interested to see if I like it opposed to other brands. Because normally I've been using Mobile One and I've also used Castrol, and I've also used Penzanoil, and I've also used Valvoline, but I've never tried Royal Purple. This is the most expensive oil I've bought. I think this one jug cost $37, as opposed to uh, most Mobile One five-quart oils that cost uh, about 25 ish So does more expensive mean more better? I guess this is something I'll have to figure out uh, by using it. And now in my toolbox, I've also got some oil filters as well. So these are both Corolla oil filters. One's easy, two's easy. However, I've heard of people using 1MZ filters. My dad has a 1MZ Camry. So unsurprisingly, I have a 1MZ oil filter. I don't know if it'll work or not. A lot of people who have used uh, ZZ engines say that the 1MZ filter works pretty well. But I guess the only way to really find out for myself is to actually put it on my car. So like I said, I'll give it time to drain out and then uh, we'll take the old filter out, put the 1MZ filter on and then pour in the Royal Purple. And here's the filter, it looks pretty good. It is the perfect size from what I can tell for making a good seal so that oil doesn't leak out. But any, I think any larger in diameter than this and it's not going to seal. I need to figure out if there is a filter that is of this diameter, but taller. Uh, that would be even better. But still, I mean, this is an upgrade over the stock oil filter. I think the stock oil filters on these cars are a little small. This is a, a pretty decent size. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oil is drained and filter is replaced. Now we can fill in some new oil. So, I have done something here. It's a little bit annoying to try and fill all this oil in, so what I'm gonna do, or what I've done, I've cut this empty oil bottle in half, and then I'm going to take the cap off. And now it's a, it's a little funnel, it's a little makeshift funnel. Also, thank you to user Pale Rider for this uh, little trick here. Um, it's uh, hopefully gonna work out pretty well, we'll see. Is, and there's a good seal. I've just screwed it into the valve cover here and now it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, let's try it. Oh, look at that. So much easier, no spill, nothing. There we go, it is uh, just over the full line now. So, because I haven't, I didn't pre-fill the oil filter, I, I distracted myself a little bit by testing to see if the oil filter would seal or not. I didn't pre-fill the oil filter. So what I'm gonna do is pour just a little bit of extra oil in here so that once the, uh, that should be good. So then once the filter gets filled, then the oil level is just uh, at full. So there we go, just slightly overfilled because I know 
that the oil level is going to decrease as the filter gets filled up. And there we go, the oil has been filled in. Uh, I've got this cool little setup going on here. Uh, basically, I'm just letting uh, this green pan drain into the, the bottle there because I only have a little bit of oil uh, residue sitting there. Um, Subi is kind of taken apart right now. I'm going to get to that, but uh, I have a couple other things to share with you. So one, window visors. If you guys remember a couple of videos ago, I put AVS window visors on the blue Corolla and I've done so on the XRS too. These also needed some trimming, just like the ones on the blue Corolla. So uh, I guess AVS has some kind of issue with these ninth gen Corolla window visors. You have to trim them a little bit, but it's okay. The other thing I wanna share with you, which I'm gonna change right now, is the antenna. I have never really been a fan of this big long antenna here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's not great. So we are taking this off. Uh, let's see, there, there we go, and now it is gone. And in its place, I've got this uh, stubby antenna. It's called the Stubby. I forget which company makes this, but I ordered it on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below if you're interested. I think it looks much better, much shorter, and uh, it's, uh, it's gonna improve the look of the car. And done. So yeah, no more long antenna. That looks much better. Uh, obviously much shorter. It looks much sleeker. This is uh, a bit silly, so yeah. And there we have it. So it looks like you guys are going to be getting a timing chain cover gasket video from me uh, eventually. But for now, the car is still running just fine. I have to be mindful of the oil leak, but it's not leaking a lot. So thank you all very much for watching today's video. In the next video, I've got something very cool to share with you. Um, seriously, you, you guys are probably not going to be expecting it, uh, but it's, it's for the blue Corolla, and it's very cool. So I will see you all then. Goodbye. My camera just fell down. This is just a test clip to make sure it's okay. I better not have broken this camera. This is the only thing keeping the channel going.